Number 10. Chan Sung Jung, aka the Korean Zombie, will be making his long-awaited return after completing his mandatory military service in South Korea. He will be facing number 8th ranked featherweight Dennis Bermudez at UFC Fight Night 104, another Korean featherweight who is also making noise in the division. His name is Du Hoi Choi. He last faced Cup Swanson at UFC 206 where he was involved in one of the best fights in 2016. Both fighters bring excitement whenever they fight and this fight would guarantee fireworks if they ever fought. Both Chan Sung Jung and Du Hoi Choi could easily headline a UFC Fight Night card in South Korea and it would be one of the best fights to witness in 2017. Number 9 Joanna Janjacek is the current UFC strawweight champion and is one of the most dominant champions in the UFC. I believe a potential threat to her title would be number 7th ranked strawweight Michelle Waterson. She last defeated Paige Van Zandt by a rear naked choke at UFC on Fox 22. She has championship experience as she is the former Invicta atomweight champion and has faced top atomweight fighters in the world. I believe she is one or two wins away from a title shot and I believe her overall game will give Joanna Janjacek some trouble. I hope you get to see this fight happen in 2017. Number 8 with Nick Diaz rumoured to be returning very soon, a fight that makes most sense for him is to face former UFC welterweight champion Robbie Lawler. Nick Diaz faced Robbie Lawler at UFC 47 and won the fight by knockout in the second round. Both fighters have improved their game so much since their last fought. With both fighters needing a win, it makes sense that they faced each other again. This fight is guaranteed to be an all-out war and it would have fight fans excited if it ever happened. Number 7. Holly Holm is scheduled to face Jermaine Durandamy at UFC 208 for the vacant UFC Women's Featherweight title. If Holly Holm is successful in winning the title, a fight with the Invicta FC Featherweight Champion Chris Cyborg would be very exciting to see. Chris Cyborg has just mauled everyone she has faced and is one of the most scariest female fighters in the world. It would be interesting to see how her aggressive fighting style would do against a world class striker in Holly Holm. I hope we get to see this fight in 2017. Number 6. John Jones is the former UFC La Heavyweight Champion and is one of the most talented fighters in the UFC. Whilst as the champion, he dominated all of his opponents with ease and had cleared out the UFC La Heavyweight division. He has always teased a move to the heavyweight division and recently mentioned that he is waiting for the right stylistic matchup to test the move to the heavyweight division. It would be interesting to see him face a top 10 UFC heavyweight and really test his skills. I believe his reach advantage and his overall game would give the UFC heavyweights trouble. We will truly see how talented he really is when he makes the move to the heavyweight division. I hope we get to see him fight a top 10 UFC heavyweight in 2017. Number 5. Whilst John Jones was the UFC light heavyweight champion, he was set to defend his UFC light heavyweight title against Anthony Johnson at UFC 187. This was one fight that many thought that it would give John Jones trouble as Anthony Johnson had completely destroyed everyone he had faced. Just two weeks before the fight, John Jones was involved in a hit and run accident and was stripped of his UFC title. Daniel Cormier stepped in as a late replacement and won the vacant UFC light heavyweight title. This fight is still one of the most interesting fights in the UFC light heavyweight division and it would be very interesting to see how John John Jones handles Anthony Johnson's vicious power. I hope we get to see this in 2017. Number 4. Demetrius Johnson is the current UFC flyweight champion. He has looked unstoppable whilst as the champion, dominating all of his competition he has faced. He has cleared out the UFC flyweight division and has shown that he is levels beyond his competition. I believe he deserves an opportunity to face the current UFC bantamweight champion Dominic Cruz again. Both fighters fought at UFC on versus 6 where Dominic Cruz won the fight by a unanimous decision. Since that fight, both fighters have evolved so much and it makes sense for them to face each other again in 2017. Number 3 the first time Luke Rockhold and Michael Bisping met was at UFC Fight Night 55 where Luke Rockhold won the fight by submission via guillotine choke in the second round. Since that loss, Michael Bisping put together three solid wins and faced Luke Rockhold again but this time it was for the world title. Luke Rockhold came in very confident at UFC 199, almost overlooking Michael Bisping's skills. In the fight, Michael Bisping knocked out Luke Rockhold in the first round, becoming the new UFC middleweight champion of the world. Both fighters hate each other and it will be interesting to see who comes out on top in the rubber match. I hope we get to see this in 2017. Number 2 John Jones defended his UFC light heavyweight title against Daniel Cormier at UFC 182 where he won the fight by a unanimous decision. After the fight, 
John Jones was involved in a hit and run accident and was stripped of his UFC light heavyweight title and was suspended. Daniel Cormier won the UFC light heavyweight title against Anthony Johnson and defended it against Alexander Gustafsson. John Jones made his return against Ovin St. Preux at UFC 197 where he won the fight by a unanimous decision becoming the interim UFC light heavyweight champion. Both fighters were scheduled to face each other again at UFC 200. Just two days before the fight, John Jones was removed from the event due to testing positive for a banned substance and is currently suspended for a year. Since Daniel Cormier lost to John Jones, he has improved his game so much and it will be interesting to see how he does against the man who broke his undefeated record, John Jones, in a rematch. I hope we get to see this in 2017. Number 1. Conor McGregor defeated Jose Aldo for the UFC featherweight title in just 13 seconds at UFC 194. Since that loss, Jose Aldo defeated Frankie Edgar for the interim UFC featherweight title by a unanimous decision at UFC 200. Jose Aldo thought winning the interim UFC featherweight title would guarantee him his rematch against Conor McGregor, but that wasn't the case. Conor McGregor wasn't interested in the fight. Instead, he challenged Eddie Alvarez for his UFC lightweight title at UFC 205, where he won the fight by TKO in the second round, becoming the first ever 2 8 world champion. Jose Aldo desperately wants his rematch but he will likely face the interim UFC featherweight champion Max Holloway instead in early 2017. Jose Aldo has said that after he defends his world title he is willing to move up to the lightweight division and face Conor McGregor in a rematch. It will definitely be interesting to see how the second contest will go between both fighters and I hope we get to see it in 2017.